Hi friends, Kaylee with Kaylee's Canvas is here. I have some family with me today, family and friends. So we've got Regan, my daughter, and her friend Jaden. And today we are going to paint uh, a painting for the first day of school. This is one of my paint kits that I have online on my website at kayleescanvases.com. I'll put the link below in the description so you can find it there along with many other paint kits. All right, but they're excited to, to go on video with us today. We have a pre-drawn canvas, which is part of the paint kit. Paint kit. It says first day of, of uh, first day of blank, okay? And what it is, it's kind of hard to see right now, but it's a pencil, all right? And what will happen is after we're done painting it and it's all dry, you guys get to determine what grade we are gonna put in here. So, this would make a really cute uh, painting to hold up when you're doing uh, first day of school pictures. Um, so, Jaden and Regan, what grades are you guys going into? Fourth. Fourth. Fourth grade, very cool. Mm -hmm. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excited, nervous, or you, you you guys actually like school? Good. No. N no. 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 Really like <laughs> At least she's honest. That's all right. I used to sort of like school, but uh, I like summer better. So we'll get started with painting. Um, the paint kit comes with green for the background color. So we have a light green and a dark green. You'll be able to see that on my website if you want to purchase this kit, but you can customize it and you can customize it with your own background color just by putting a little note in the purchase box. Um, and you can tell me what color you want to do for the background color. Jaden is choosing to do a light blue and a dark blue. I'm doing light green and dark green, which comes with it. And Regan wanted to do light pink and dark pink. All right, so we're going to get started, okay? Each kit comes with all the step-by-step -step directions, the paint, uh, the paint brushes, the pre-drawn canvas, everything that you're going to need. So we'll get started, all right? And we'll do the first step, which is to paint the background, all right? So we've got two brushes with us. Uh, we've got a flat brush and a fine liner brush. All right, we're going to start off with the flat brush, but we will need the fine liner brush for a little bit of this video, okay? All right, so uh, Regan and Jaden, you're going to get your light pink and light blue, and I'm going to get my light green, okay? And we're just going to start by painting the background color. All right, and we're going to paint around the letters, and we're going to paint around the pencil. All right. Jaden likes to paint. He doesn't. He hasn't painted a lot. He actually did a few of my paint kits the other day, and I think you enjoyed them, right, Jaden? Which ones did you do? I did the Harry Potter one. Oh yeah, the the wizard in training. And I did the snowman. Ah, the snowman, yes. And I did the penguin. And the penguin, okay, so he did a lot. <laughs> he did a lot. But um, but that's very cool. Painting is definitely fun and relaxing. And you just get better every time you do it. Definitely. All right. So this is going to be probably the hardest part is just painting the background because we've got to paint around all these letters. So you're going to have to bear with us for a few minutes while we paint that and then we'll be able to get into more of the details. But while we're doing that, we can maybe talk about like what's your guys what's your favorite class in school? What's your favorite subject? PE. PE, that's not a subject. Okay, maybe it is a subject. I didn't like PE, not me. Mm -mm. Regan, what, what's your favorite subject? PE. Wow, okay, you like PE too. Okay, apparently I'm the oddball out. Might you want to know what my favorite subject was? I'm art. sure <laughs> art, art is right. Okay, yes, art was my favorite subject, and some people would say that's not a subject. Um, but what can you guess what my second favorite subject was in school? Music? Nope, although I do love music. Math? Yep, I'm a math dork. I knew it. Yep. Jaden, what's your favorite subject besides PE? Your second favorite, I should say. Art. Art? Oh, okay. See? We do have something in common. Regan, what's yours? Um... That's a long Recess. Time. Recess is not a subject. Yes, you, it is. You know what? What's going to happen when you get into middle school and you don't have 
math. recess anymore. The math or writing or reading. Uh, mostly writing. The math or writing or reading. Mostly math or writing. Well, I would love to know what your favorite subject is. Feel free to put it in the comments below. Even if you're an adult, I'm sure you have a favorite subject. Like I said, mine was art and then math. And if you're painting this with your kiddo, um, you know, feel free to uh, let us know in the description what their favorite uh, class was. Alright, so we're still just going around all these letters. Like I said, this is the tedious part, but after this it gets a lot easier. I'm going around the pencil. Yeah, that's alright. You can do it in either order. I like to start, when I paint, I like to start from the top so I don't get my hands stuck in paint, you know? Oh. So I don't I usually, usually whenever I paint, it's always best to start at the top because sometimes I like to rest my hand on the canvas. I didn't And if it's wet, then I make a mess. I didn't think about that. That's okay. And like Jaden started from the right, but if he's right, since he's right handed, he should have started from the left because it would have made it easier for him. I can say I'm not ready for summer to be over yet though. What about you guys? I like to play in the snow. It's pretty hot. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been it's been it's been pretty warm out. But that means we can't go swimming. And I will say I probably should get a new light for right here because the light is hot too. But I like the heat. What's your favorite summertime activity? Swimming. Swimming. Yeah, swimming. Swimming takes the cake. I do like swimming. Going to the beach. Although I just like being outside, and it's hard to be outside. For going me on when vacation. I can a lot. I like yeah, going you... on vacation and going to the beach. Yeah. I like going on vacation. Yep. Yeah. You probably didn't mess up, Regan. I got some pink on the on the pencil. What? On the pencil? Yeah. Oh, actually, I was just going to say, if there's one spot you don't want to get a color on, it's the pencil, because yellow is kind of a transparent color, so you got to be extra careful around the pencil. But that's okay. We can fix it. Well, let me see. It's not bad. Oh, no, you, d you didn't do bad at all. No, you're good. You're still good. shaky <laughs> yeah that's because there's not enough space to have three people on the on the tiles here all right if you've stuck with us this far trust me you're gonna you're gonna like the finished outcome so don't be uh, too quick to run away um, but if you're if you're still here, give I would love it if you could give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we like to do videos pretty frequently. I will paint a lot of times with my daughter because she loves to paint as well. And I think I might even invite Jaden a few more times because Jaden Jaden likes painting too. So. And one of these days, I'm going to have to give you a little tour of my studio. Um, it's a very small studio, uh, but it's all right. It gets, it gets the job done. And it's actually, it's, uh, my husband so graciously agreed that we should turn our dining room into my studio because I just didn't have a place to paint, and I always painted on the dining room table anyways. So you should have seen our dining room table before. It was all covered in paint because I'm really bad about using a tablecloth. But that's all right. It's fun. And I'd rather have a dirty painted table than to not paint at all. I got the paint from the letters. It's okay. It's all right. As long as you can see most of the outline of the letters, that's what's really important. Because you know how to spell, you know? 
it's not like you're gonna forget what the letters are you know it just it's a good guide to show you the the type of letters so all right and as you guys know I always like to do the sides of my canvas too you guys don't have to do the sides of your canvas if you don't want to mm. but I like to do the sides that's just me So are you guys going to hold this up for your first day of school pictures? Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about, Jaden? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to give it to my teacher. Oh, that's a good idea. I think that's nice. All right, I'm almost done with my green. What color are you guys going to make the eraser? It's going to be dark pink, which I forgot to give, uh, oh, that's what, that might be, oh no, that should be fine for you, Regan. I forgot to put dark pink on our plates, Jaden, Jaden, that's all right, we'll get it on there. And as we're painting, you guys might see in the background here, behind Jaden and Regan, there's some sun hats that I painted. Uh, that was a really, really fun thing to do. So, yeah, it's very pretty. And we've been having paint parties um, at different locations, and, and so far the most popular one that we've done, um, uh, other than canvases, like for different things, has been the sun hats. People love to paint the sun hats because you can just make them, they're, they're easy to do and they're, they're, they come out pretty nice. Oh, you guys are cruising along there. You're doing a good job. And if you accidentally go over your letters a little bit, remember it's not the end of the world because we're going to be painting our letters black in the end. Alright, if we're going too fast for you, uh, whoever's watching at home, if we're going too fast for you, Feel free to pause this video and uh, and then when you catch up you can press play again. So you no need to feel rushed. That's the great thing about uh, about you know watching and doing video tutorials is you can always press pause or if we're going too slow for you, you can always put it on one and a half speed or two or whatever. Sometimes I watch painting videos when I want to learn a technique. Sometimes I'll watch it on either a slow speed if I really want to understand or like if I'm having a hard time or I'll watch it on uh, two speed if I already kind of know but I just want to know a little bit more. So I find YouTube to be very, very educational. Mm -hmm. What do you guys like to watch on YouTube? Regan? Mr. Beast, Unspeakable, Preston, Snapple. That's a lot. You. I don't really go on YouTube. No, but I think I know you guys. You so you both, but Jaden, I know you like Sniper Wolf, right? Yep. And have you ever watched Preston or Unspeakable? Yeah. I know both the kids like that. The kids seem to love, you know, Preston, Unspeakable, Sniper Wolf, Mr. Beast. They're the popular guys right now. They do a lot of challenges. They do. There's do also a, a ton of amazing uh, YouTube artists. You could do some challenges, like if I fast flip this coin and if it lands on heads, I can do pink. If it lands on tails, I can do blue. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I am pretty much done. With your full painting? With my background, silly pants. Did 
Did you finish your background, Regan? Um, my okay. D of day is not looking too good. That's okay, because remember, like I said, we're going to paint over it with black anyways, so. Okay, so I'm going to put some dark pink on Jaden and mine's plate because I forgot about that. That's for the eraser. Alright, so while they're painting, I'm going to go ahead just a little bit. Uh, yes, I know. I'll, I'll, I'll wait another, another, another second for them. Let's see. They're doing pretty good. Not me. I keep going over the letters. That's okay. It's okay if you go over the letters. It's better to go too far than not enough. As long as you can still see the letters, that's what's important. Okay. But you want to make sure you at least go up to the line. We're getting there. I'll show you up close. So the camera's back. Uh, backwards a little bit so but you can see how we're doing okay and I'm gonna carefully put you back where you were there we go I'm I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna, a camera expert guys I'm gonna paint over the letters but I can still see them yeah there we go. Because I'm not using a lot of paint. Oh, and in case you guys haven't seen, so I have a wall in my studio that's got uh, different paintings on it that I've done. Uh, some of them are paint kits. Some of them are just paintings I've done on video. Okay. I'll have to show you more some other time. When I don't have uh, little kids intruding on my videos. Intruding? Yeah, intruding. Wow. You guys almost done with your background colors? Oh, you're just doing it right over, which is fine because you can actually still see it with yours. Yeah, I'm doing it lightly. Because, yeah, yours is pink, so you can still see. I was afraid to go over mine because I'd be afraid I couldn't see, but actually I think I might be able to see if I did go over it. I didn't do a lot of paint, so. Yeah. Mine kind of looks like tie-dye with the white. Yeah, it kind of does. We're going to put bubbles on it, though. I know. Sticky. Alright, Regan, make sure, so you finished, Regan finished her background, uh, just the pink for now. And um, Jaden's still working on his. He's He'll get there, though. Um, I am so bad with these cameras. But uh, what I would say is next we're going to do the yellow and uh, we want to make sure we rinse off our flat brushes really good because we're going to use the yellow for this. Um, but you want to make sure you have a clean flat brush for this. So Regan, make sure you rinse off your brush really good. You want to get it off the whole thing. Okay, Jaden's almost done, so I'll, I'll start on this next step. Jaden will, Jane will be good to catch up. So for this next part, we're gonna do yellow, all right? And we're gonna fill in the pencil. So um, you'll see, so we're not gonna do the whole pencil because part of it is is a little different. So you'll see that there's, some, there's an eraser right here, the metal part of the pencil, all right? I don't know if you can see it fully. And then we've got this part with the lines, all right? And then this is gonna be the, the tip and the wood part. So we're gonna do from here to here with um, the yellow, all right? So we're not gonna fill up the whole thing with yellow. Let's see. Sorry if my camera's wobbly. All right, so we're gonna start, like I said, not all the way across. Let's see if we can, there you go. Just in the part with the stripes here. Right, and the good thing is yellow is see-through, so we can paint right over the lines. 
All right, just be careful when you go to the edge because if your paint is still wet, you might blend it on accident. You may need your fine liner brush for the edge near the wood because it's kind of curvy. So if you do, it's okay to switch your brush. You just have to make sure you rinse your brush very well before you switch. Regan and Jaden are very good focused painters, as you can see. All right, and if you have some bumps or squiggles in, in here a little bit, like from just the paint, don't worry about it, because when the paint dries, it dries flat. This is just, you know, this is a different, there's different kinds of acrylic paint. There's regular acrylic paint and then there's heavy body acrylic paint, I which too much sometimes heavy body acrylic paint can add more texture. But for these kind of paintings, I always use regular acrylic paint. So don't worry if you get too much paint in some sections. It doesn't have to be completely smooth. It will smooth out when it dries. drying off my brush and setting it aside. I would make fun of them for being slow, except for I've already painted this before. A few times. We're trying to do good, so. I, oh, I know, you guys are doing great. You're doing a very good job. And always remember when you're painting, um, take your time, don't get too frustrated because the worst part of painting is in the middle. You know, sometimes people get frustrated that they think that their stuff doesn't look that great. They think that maybe they messed up and the part isn't completely straight or smooth. Um, and typically if you follow all the steps all the way through, it always looks way better than uh, than what you've anticipated when, while you're painting. So just be patient, finish it out to the end. If you have to take a little break in between because you're getting overwhelmed, that's absolutely fine. Take a break and come back to it. I finished my pencil, I'm not done. Okay, that's all right. Jaden's almost done with his pencil. You can put a little bit more paint on your brush, bud. It'll make it easier if you use a little bit more. There you go. Well, Regan, if you want, we can go ahead to the next step. Um, <laughs> which the next step will be the dark pink for the eraser. Mm. All right, you're gonna want your flat brush for this step. I just, I just used my flat brush the whole thing. Yeah, that's all right. I didn't use my flat one. Okay, so we're gonna paint the eraser at the end. Remember, there's gonna be a little strip in the middle that is part of the metal that holds the eraser onto the pencil, so don't paint that pink. But if you're doing this kit, if you look at the directions on the paper, uh, it shows you pictures for each step, so you'll see exactly what I'm talking about.
All right, and I've got my eraser. No rush, Jaden, no rush. My eraser is extra big. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's I couldn't make it straight that's in okay. the lines and it looked terrible. But, well, that's all right. You did a good job. It looks nice. No, no, the eraser is going over the pencil and it looks bad. It doesn't look bad, babe. Yeah, it's like this. It's okay. I'll show you how you can fix that. Anyway, don't paint any more pink. I think your eraser looks good. I'll show you how you can fix that later. I know how to so, fix it. So, can I see your painting just so I can show everybody what you're talking about? I know how to fix it. Okay, well, hang on. So, what happened was Regan did her eraser outside of the line. But this is okay because what will happen at the very end, we're going to go over this, the edge of the paint, or I'm sorry, the edge of the pencil with black paint just to kind of outline it. So, what will happen is this little edge here will kind of disappear and it won't be that obvious anyways so yeah no trust me it won't be that obvious i was gonna say paint it pink again like paint light pink over well the light pink probably won't cover the dark pink i know but it'll help a little bit and then let's do the and it's okay because this is supposed to look like a kid did it because this is for them for school and you need water um, no, my water's fine. It looks like a it's okay. spinach sandwich. Jaden's almost done with this pink, and then we're going to go on to the next part, which is the tan. Let's, we'll do the tan. Okay. So, the next part, we're going to do the tan color, which is for the pencil, the wood of the pencil right here. Alright, and so, one of my hairs likes to sneak its way into my paint as usual. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just going to follow along that line with that tan color. I'm using my fine liner brush. If you wanna use your flat brush, that's fine, uh, but I think the fine liner brush might work a little easier around those curves. The and flat then, brush works better. Well, the flat brush gets more surface area but the fine liner brush gets into the small crevices that you can't get into with the flat brush. And that is why we have two different paint brushes in, in the paint kit. I've only used one so far. That's okay. Everybody paints a little different and that's all right. There's no rules to, to art. But if you want it to look like something else, you could follow steps. Um, but I also encourage people to be creative, you know, so if you want your your uh, pencil to look a little different Feel free to mix it up a little we're gonna paint some bubbles in the background in a little bit um, So if you don't want to paint the bubbles, that's okay, or if you want to change up the shape, that's all right, too All right, so we got our pencil uh, and then next we're gonna move on to the gray part. So we got the wood for that. So now we're gonna use the flat brush and the gray paint. They're almost there, they're catching up. So uh, make sure your, your flat brush is rinsed off pretty good. And we're gonna use the gray paint and we're gonna paint that part of the metal of the pencil. And we're gonna add some highlights to this in a little while to make it look like um, the ridges in the metal, to make it look more realistic. Okay, and then I'm gonna, I have to use the gray again for the tip of the pencil, um, but I'm gonna switch to my fine liner brush because it is a smaller area and so it's easier to get than it is with the, uh, the flat brush. What do you mean? Fine. That's okay. So let that part dry and you can go over that little bit with pink. You didn't mess up. The pink is a darker color 
it's not darker but it, it covers better than the gray does so let it dry and you can cover over that little bitty gray with some pink there's even if you mess up there's always a way to fix it so if you're painting this at, at home and you think you made a mistake uh, feel free to let it dry and fix it you can fix almost everything and if you're a kid and you're not sure what to fix it how to fix it next you can ask an adult what you might be able to do to fix it. You're looking good, Jaden. Okay. You want to know what the next step is? Yeah. No. Yes, we do. So next we're going to use our fine liner brush again. Make sure it's clean and rinsed off. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna use our fine liner brush. We're gonna get a little bit of orange. We don't need a lot. We're just gonna go over these lines here. But I have a tip for you guys, okay? Because your canvas is wet, it's gonna be hard to hold your hand up and do a straight line. So the easiest way to do it is to turn your canvas sideways. And then you'll be able to have a little bit more stability. And so you're gonna go over those lines it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Mine is a little solid or a little crooked and some parts are thicker than others. So don't feel like it has to be perfectly uh, straight or perfectly even. Things look better when they're not always symmetrical. Very few things in this world are symmetrical including our faces. Okay. So we're just going to do those three lines in the middle with the orange. Okay, and then you can turn your canvas back once you're done with that. Oops. That was me. Did you get the orange lines, Regan? No. You don't want to do the orange lines? No, I was doing my eraser. Oh. Oh, you fixed it. Good job. And then I got gray on the yellow, too. That's okay. It looks fine, Regan. Trust me. Don't be so hard on yourself. Sometimes Regan is a little hard on herself. Okay. So. All right, so Regan, are you going to skip the orange then? No. You're going to do the orange? No. Okay. Regan, I suggest you switch paint brushes. It'll make it easier. I got paint on the yellow. That's okay. There you go. Alright. This one is too fat. You gotta get it wet, babe. Get it wet. Regan, don't worry about that. I'm just trying to clean it yep. off. Yeah, but you got to get your paintbrush wet. Not that one. I know, I'm cleaning it off. Okay. Use your fine liner brush. Wait. Good job, Jaden. That looks awesome. All right, next what we're going to do is our bubbles. So what you can do, you can use either brush for this. If you want to use your fine liner brush to make the circles and then fill it in with a different brush, that's fine, or you can do it all with this, or you can use your flat brush to make the circles. Um, either one is fine. I can show you both. So what you're going to do is grab your darker color. So I'm, I've got the green, so I'm doing the dark green. Jaden, you're going to do the dark blue, and Regan will do the dark pink. And what we're going to do is we're going to make circles. Okay. And I recommend doing them different sizes. Okay. And what I do when I have my flat brush, I think it's really easy. I just take my brush, I lay it down, and then I just twist it. And it makes a really cool circle. And, uh, and it kind of looks like a bubble because you'll have darker paint around the edge of it and lighter on the inside. Okay. Yeah, just 
do a few more. Let's see. And you can do them different sizes too. They don't all have to be the same size. And I might even do, I'm going to do a half circle here so it looks like the bubble is behind the pencil. I'll just do a few more and you can do as many as you want as many as you're comfortable with I just did the wrong color green <laughs> I did the light green but that's okay I'll fix it I really like it in the blue. I feel like I should have tried blue. We can just keep in mind you don't want to go over your letters, that's all. But I, I like the pink too. I'm not going over my letters, I'm only going to do two bubbles. That's it, just two? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can do as many bubbles as you want. And we'll add some some highlights to these later too. So, good job. I, you did a good job on the half circles. If you need to turn your canvas to make it easier, feel free to do that. Just do whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, I think I'm almost done with mine. I like the two big bubbles. I'm not done. Okay, well that's fine. I'm just saying I like it. All right. So then, oh, you're still doing more bubbles. Oh, oh no, you're fixing that little spot. See, that's good. You waited for it to dry and then you fixed it. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, if you want, you can wait for it to dry a little bit more, and then you can do a little bit more over it. But the next step would be to do uh, the words, all right? Um, so you can do uh, one of two things. You can either, you can use either brush, um, but you just, some parts of the letters, you're probably going to need your fine liner brush for. And for this, we're going to do the black. Um, I think I might use just the fine liner brush just because there's a lot of a lot of little areas to get into. All right, so I'm going to start from left and but just be careful not to dip your arm in the wet paint. I have an idea. Yeah. But you guys can do the same thing that you do. 
What's your idea? To make my pencil like a school bus. Oh, that would be cute. Yeah, a school bus. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to turn this upside down so it's easier to do. I'm actually going to switch to my flat brush. And then that way I can do it like that. So Regan probably wanted to do a school bus because Regan's aunt is a school bus driver. I think that is such a cute idea, Regan. Remember, if you're painting along and you're and you're behind in some of this stuff, it's okay to pause us. You don't have to get overwhelmed. This is probably the next hardest part. Is getting those letters. Doing a good job, Jaden. And Regan, I like your school bus. It'll be hard to write your uh, grade on it, though. Do you need help? Yeah. Here, let me see your canvas and I'll fix your A. her A for her. She's making a school bus. Jane, yours is looking awesome, bud. You'll notice that sometimes when groups of people paint, everybody's really quiet because they're focused. Right, Regan? 
at our paint parties and stuff, people get really quiet when they get focused, right? Mm -hmm. And then people get loud. <laughs> And another thing you could do too, if you don't feel confident to do these letters with a paintbrush, you could always, if you have like a black, a permanent black marker, you could always uh, use the permanent black marker to do these letters if you feel that you have better control over a marker than a paintbrush, which some people do. It's okay, it's not cheating. I messed up on my F too. So I got my letters, it's looking good, I think I might add some more bubbles while they're painting. Oh, you're, oh, you did good too, you're almost done. I'm just going to fix a couple of spots that I didn't like. some more bubbles. Jaden, you're so quiet. Jaden's not usually this quiet. Huh, Jaden? <laughs> Cat got your tongue? You done with your letters? Okay, awesome. So I need blue. Blue? Yeah. For what? For the windows of the school bus. Okay, well you can see Regan's getting very creative. She added some wheels and some windows. You can borrow some of Jaden's blue if you want. Yeah, I was gonna say I recommend the light blue. Okay. So the next step we'll do, we're gonna go in with some black. Okay, and so we're gonna use our fine liner brush. And we're just going to put a little bit of black on our paintbrush. And we're just going to outline some things. Okay, so we're going to outline our pencil. Right, it doesn't have to be perfectly outlined. And some parts might be thicker than other, which is others, which is okay. And this is where you can cover up some of those mistakes that that you that you might have made. Like if you made your eraser too big, like Regan said she did on hers, you'd be able to cover up those imperfections. Which honestly aren't that big of a deal because it adds character. Now one of the things I'm not going to do, I'm not going to put any black lines in here because I want this part to be clear for when I'm writing my grade. Okay, so I will add, like I said, I'm going to add black all the way around. Alright, I'll even add a little bit of black here and around the squiggle part. I'm not going to do the whole thing completely black. I'm just 
adding little black shadows. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little black line here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be all the way down. Just on parts of it. And then this part is optional. You don't have to do it, but you can add in some um, black shadows to the bubbles. All right, so if you want to, you could just go around part of it and just add little, little black lines. It's not necessary if you don't want to, if you think it's too hard. Um, and I wouldn't even go all the way around. I would just do parts of it. It's really not necessary. I just like the way it looks. We are almost done, guys. Okay, let's see. You don't have to add the black outline to them if you don't want to. You can, though. But don't do all the way around. Alright, so now what you're going to do is we're going to get some white. All right, and we're going to use our fine liner brush, so make sure you rinse it off really good because you're switching from black to white. You want to make sure it's rinsed off really well so that way um, you don't get any gray, muddy col colors. All right, so now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to add some highlights. So I'm going to add some highlights in my bubbles on the parts that are dry. Okay, just little round edges I'll show you see little round edges like partial circles oh nice job Jaden oh oh that's creative Regan you skipped ahead but that's okay that looks pretty cool I'll tell you sometimes I doubt my daughter I don't know why I do because she's so creative so if your kid doesn't follow all the steps directly like it's supposed to be that's okay, don't stifle their creativity like I do sometimes. But, but I'll tell you, their kids are super creative. Alright, I think I got a little white in every single bubble except for this little tiny one okay so I think I'm good with my white for that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more highlights to some other parts all right and we are we are so close to being done all right I, think I know what I want to do when this dries I want to flip it over and I want to paint like the inside of the bus if you want to do that that's gonna be after the video I know. all right so now we're gonna add some white highlights all right, so remember I told you we were gonna add some white to the, uh, to the uh, metal to make it look more realistic. So for this, we're just gonna do little white lines. Okay, just little white lines. Again, they don't have to be perfect. All right, and then we're gonna add some white highlights to the eraser, just a few lines, nothing fancy. I want to do some white along each strip of yellow here. Okay, and go ahead and put some here, along there, and even a little on the edge of the pencil. And 
there you have it for this. And so now all you have to do is just paint in your grade. So like you would put fourth grade or you know, if you even wanted to do kindergarten, you could you could do that too. You just have to maybe need some help from an adult because uh, that's a really long word. Okay. You guys are you guys did great. Awesome job. So Jaden, do you want to put your grade in? Yeah. Okay. Um so now it's it's up to you which brush you use. You can either use this one or that one, but you want to rinse it off good and use the black. You should put in what your favorite grade was. My favorite grade? Oh geez, what is my favorite grade? I don't know. Kindergarten. I like Kin oh, kindergarten, yeah, that was the easiest grade. It's where we got to sing and take naps. And you don't have to do homework. That's true, too. Okay. I liked the Here, I'll grade. give you guys a little close-up. Actually, I'll leave the camera there. Regan, can I see your, your painting? Go ahead and write your grade. I liked Look at grade. how creative she got. First day of fourth grade. I know the picture's backwards, guys, for you, but it looks so cool. I think she did a great job. Awesome job, Regan. Very nice. This bus is only for fourth graders. Here's what the original looks like. So if you do order the kit, you're going to get it just with the green. Um, but like I said, if you wanted to do a different color, you could do pink like Regan did, or you could do blue. Um, all you would do is just write in the note subject, uh, pink background, please, for the first day of uh, paint kit or blue background please and so I can adjust this if you wanted to do an orange background we could do that I just wouldn't I would say not to do yellow because the pencil is yellow and it'll kind of get washed out but you can do different colored backgrounds um, yeah so that's pretty much it We're, while Jaden's finishing I just want to remind you please like and share this video with your friends whoever's got some kids that want to paint and love art and they're entering the new grade of school um, remember you can uh, get my paint kit online at kayleescanvases.com that'll be in the description down below um, I'll specifically link this paint kit but there's a lot of other paint kits available and um, and if you haven't yet subscribe Jaden why should they subscribe Okay, you should subscribe because it's fun to paint. Right, Regan? Okay. <laughs> well, Jaden, can I show everybody your painting? Is it done? Yeah. Okay. So, Jaden did an awesome job. He's, it's his first day of fourth grade coming up soon, and give everybody a smile because you've got those cute dimples. He's got some cute dimples. <laughs> Regan, give everybody a smile. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I will paint with you soon again. Bye now.